Total Pro Sports presents the 15 most overhyped athletes ever. If hype brought success, there'd be plenty of athletes who'd be known as Hall of Famers and not complete busts, such as life in professional sports. For whatever reason, some athletes get every bit of hype and benefit of a doubt, even though their accomplishments and success aren't as impressive as you might think. Here are the 15 most overrated athletes ever. Number 15, Jeremy Lin. Lin Sanity, Super Nintendo. All of the puns for Jeremy Lin were just as annoying as the hype he got. Despite barely averaging double-digit puns throughout his career, Lin became a household name due to a minor hot streak he had for the New York Knicks in 2012. The fact he played for five teams in his first six seasons just shows how teams know he's nothing more than hyped by the media. Number 14, Danica Patrick. If NASCAR driving came to looks, Danica Patrick would win every time for sure. Sure, she's beautiful, but she hasn't had much success in her racing career. Through her first 10 years in the business, she had one first place finish through the major NASCAR series and has constantly finished outside of the top 10 in most of her races. Sure, we love to watch her race, but it doesn't mean she'll be remembered as an all-time great. Number 13, Greg Oden. The 2008 NBA draft was all about who would go first between Greg Oden and Kevin Durant. Needless to say, the Portland Trail Blazers regret taking a man who was out of the league by 2004. Meanwhile, KD won an MVP and took the Oklahoma City Thunder into a perennial contender. Odin was supposed to be one of the greats, but that never materialized. Number 12, Patrick Steffen. Vancouver Canucks GM Brian Burke is best known for his ways of defying magic by selecting both Daniel and Henrik Sedin in the 1999 NFL Draft. But the biggest miracle was getting the Atlanta Thrashers to take Patrick Steffen, who went first overall. Put it this way, when Steffen's career highlights is missing an empty net goal on a breakaway, he obviously didn't succeed the way he did before the big leagues. Number 11, Lynn Swan. Sure, four Super Bowl rings and the immaculate reception give him a legacy of a lifetime. But Lynn Swan's career statistics were anything but spectacular. In nine seasons in the NFL, Swan had 336 catches for 5,462 yards and 51 touchdowns. Sometimes playing on a winner makes everyone remember you as a winner. That's true in Swan's case. Number 10, Tony Mandrick. The second overall pick by the Green Bay Packers in the 1989 draft was the only player of the first five selected to not make it to the Hall of Fame, and Mandrick went before Dion and Barry Sanders. Sports Illustrated considered him the greatest offensive line prospect ever, but Mandrick played just 47 games and never came close to being a decent player in the NFL. Yeah, a little overhyped there for sure. Number 9, Jamarcus Russell. The first overall pick from the 2007 draft could not have been a bigger flop. There's no doubt the Oakland Raiders wish they had have taken Calvin Johnson or Adrian Peterson with their pick. Russell played just three seasons in the NFL, going 7-18 before being released by the team in 2010. His comeback bid was well short, and the player who was supposed to save the Raiders only made them worse. Number 8. Bo Jackson Playing two sports and being named an all-star in both of them will make everyone think you were a big-time player, such as Bo Jackson. Jackson was an incredible athlete, but ESPN called him the greatest athlete ever despite just eight years in pro sports. He didn't exactly break a bunch of records either, so there's no reason to think he was a better athlete than Michael Jordan, among others. Number 7. Darko Milicic the 2003 NBA Draft is best remembered for bringing in the likes of Carmelo Anthony, Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, and Darko Milicic. The Detroit Pistons selected him with their second overall pick that year, but Milicic failed to garner much of a career. Despite winning a championship with the Pistons in 2004, he was out of the NBA in 2012 and averaged just six points per game. Number 6. Joe Namath Broadway Joe is forever going to be remembered for delivering the New York Jets their first Super Bowl title in 1969 when he guaranteed his team would pull off a major upset against the Baltimore Colts. He was right about that. But his 173 to 220 touchdown to interception ratio tells us he was never a great quarterback. One win made his legacy, fair enough, but let's remember he was nothing great. Number 5. Anna Kornikova Anna Kornikova would win most matches if they were beauty contests, but the fact is her tennis career was nothing extra special. She failed to win a major singles championship, she retired due to injuries at age 21, but her legacy is set because she was such a popular Google search during her short career. Number 4. Ryan Leaf Peyton Manning made good on his promise to the Colts that they'd regret it if they didn't draft him. All he did was make them a perennial playoff team with a Super Bowl championship. 
Meanwhile, Ryan Leaf, another can't-miss prospect of the 1998 draft, was supposed to save the San Diego Chargers. Sadly, his career never took off anywhere close to the way it did in college. He was out of the league by 2002. Number 3. David Beckham Beckham got the celebrity treatment. His classiness, beautiful wife Victoria, and the fact he won four championships in four countries made us all remember he was a very solid soccer player. However, he was solid, not great. The LA Galaxy gave him a ridiculous amount of cash to join them, and his name was more marketable than anything when he joined the MLS. He never won FIFA Player of the Year, so he clearly wasn't as great as you might think. Number 2. Johnny Manziel Manziel was a Heisman Trophy winner in college with Texas A&M. Even though he was a star player, his name always made headlines no matter what he did. Whenever a draft analyst questioned his ability to be an NFL starter, it became front page news. Anytime he went out partying, it became major news. Anytime he threw a football, it became must see. Okay, we get it. Manziel plays football, so do millions of other people in America. And number one, Tim Tebow. Tebow was seemingly being monitored for everything he did in his NFL career. During his brief magical run in the 2011 NFL season, Tebow was always being hyped by media outlets, especially ESPN, despite spending most of his career as a backup. Anything Tebow did became headlines, even though his NFL career was very short-lived. There's a reason the Denver Broncos ditched him for Peyton Manning in 2011. And that's it for the 15 most overhyped athletes ever. But wait, we are not done with you yet. In the comments below, we want to know, which athlete do you think deserves more hype? And for more cool videos, click subscribe.